Tameside area of Manchester, um, the Moravian settlement on Fairfield Street. Um, it's a lovely day, so uh, it's all old buildings, old roads, so I'm going to go in and take a look around. So why not come with me and let's have a go. Let's have a look. This is in Troylesden, in uh, Greater Manchester, which comes on the Tameside. And it's a very nice and old popular area. So let's take a look. It's a very old post box and it looks like VR on that. It's a uh, very old. It's um, a very old ancient road made out of pebbles. Um, all the houses are very old. They say that they keep the everything back to the old days in the houses. Um, somehow I can't see that because uh, can you imagine kids without mobile phones now and things. Um, let's take a look up and round the place. So these are like old houses. They've not kept old cars though, have they? Look. Brand new cars. It's a lovely little area. Uh, many of us might not know about it. But it is in the Droylton area of Manchester on the Thames side. Um, there's plaques on the wall of places. Can't see up there. It says Charles Hindley, 1796 to 1897. Born into the Moravian Mill uh, family, which became active by the Moravian for the factory reform. So I don't know what all that's about. So these are some really lovely cottages. They didn't say it's private, they didn't say you can't come in here. But just look how old that brickwork is on the houses. It's really old. And again, it's really really nice and smart and clean and tidy. Everything is spick and span. Right the way up to the old village. Old. Oh, there's a dog. He doesn't come out after me. I think he's in the back garden up there. That makes me want to turn back though. So, let's have a look at some of these old cottages. There's no PVC windows on these, it's still the old wood. Original windows, where if one pane of glass got broke, one pane of glass got repaired. Another little street here. I think it's like a cult group, isn't it, the Moravians? Was the Osmonds not them, Moravians, or were they... What was the other one they were called? Mormons, was it? I think they were the Mormons, weren't they? Just look at that. These little cottages. And it's nice to see they've got one of them there. Uh, Fibulators on the wall here, whatever this place is. So if anyone happens to take a heart attack or anything, there's one there. Is that some sort of a surgery? Church clock appeal? No. I don't know what that is. But really nice. Another house there with the ivy and stuff on.
to excuse my feet making noise on the gravel again. These don't look like houses, I mean, just wondering are they the church halls or the schools? I can hear music, like an organ. Can you hear it? That's like a church. Yeah, I'd say that's a church. Don't know where the entrance is, but I don't think it's there. They've even got their own school on the grounds. It's uh, Fairfield High School for girls. Or is this connected? I'm not too sure. Or it's in. It's in the. It's in this area. So nice. There's a street in uh, Ancoats, Anita Street, that's very old fashioned. Pretty similar to the houses. And there's one in Hume called Barrack Street, which is uh, all the army personnel used to live there many years ago. And it's pretty similar to Anita Street. This one here, though, is really nice. And when you think about it, we're only, if you live in Manchester, it's only around the corner from you, really. And a lot of people probably didn't know this. So, yeah, like I say, they're supposed to keep everything old and original, but um, the cars are not old and original. Uh, last time I was here, I looked in and I seen a big 60-inch six, smart screen TV, so that wasn't kind of uh, old neither well, like I say can you see the kids without um, Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that I don't think so so they won't keep it old bit of wind picking up now I didn't bring my mic every time I leave my mic in the wind picks up it's very interesting. So, I bet the postman's not happy coming in here, and I suppose he's got no gates. It's just to just uh, on a footpath, you don't even just reach in with the boxes and. The old doors. The doors are just original from many years ago, don't they? Right. That house is a bit. Don't think anyone's living in there because the windows are all. Looks like they got the decorators up there. They got scaffolding upstairs. They kept so nice these though. Look at the old steps from years ago. I think the the slabs are old but the brick looks a bit newer so they look as though they've been updated. Them windows are so old, I bet. When you go to bed at night, I bet there's a right draft blowing through them. Labrador lives here. Well, I won't be bothering that house. Pretty short video this will be because you can't spend 30 minutes in here because uh, there's not enough to do in 30 minutes. But there's a big plaque on the wall over here. So I'm going to have a look. How beautiful are these houses and, uh, and the road. 
You wouldn't swap it for tarmac, would you? It's that nice. I don't know where the entrance of that church was. I thought it would have been here, but it's not. So, here we go. Other sign. I don't know if you can see that. Founded in 1785, and this place is called the Square. A place of historic interest, yeah. It is historic, and it is interesting. So... So if you know anywhere places like this in Manchester, or in the outskirts, give us a shout, let us know. We can go down and have a look at it. Yeah, the wood pigeons in the background it's so peaceful it's so quiet you can uh, that door's took a bash in there hasn't it number 18 at the bottom but it's got a ring doorbell so they've not kept to the old stuff not like number 17 they've got the old knocker I think it is a church that there's a clock tower up there but uh, there's no clock on it if you know what I mean the tower's still there so it must be the church I'll take another look at it from this side because you can't it's very hard to get in on it but I don't know if you can see, you can see the clock tower up there and the uh, compass northwest southeast, but the clock is not in action. And uh, look at them old chimneys there. Look at that. You don't see them nowadays, do you? So this is the Moravian settlement. Oh, there's a college over there. I missed that. There's a sign that says college. So again, um, they must be teaching their own kids here in schools and then into a college. See it there, it says college. Um, and they don't seem to go out anywhere else, like to Tameside, Manchester schools, colleges. It seems they have it all done here. Or they have their own tutors and they keep it all in amongst themselves. Well, nobody's challenged me coming in here. I've had a good walk around. Quite enjoyed the filming of it. I hope you like the video as well. So, uh, like I say, it's uh, 15, 20 minutes from Manchester City Centre. It's on Fairfield Street, Droylston, near Market Street. It's between, um, what would you say, Ashton Old Road and Ashton New Road. So, uh, yeah, come up here one day, feel free, have a look round. So, I'm gonna wait, make my way out now, just in case somebody comes round and says, there's a guy going around filming, they don't feel comfortable, but if they look at me, because it's an old man going around filming, really. And, uh, so that was the Moravian settlement here in Jordan. <laughs>